Hey y'all, my name is Alexa Fred and welcome to my channel. So today I am making spaghetti squash. Yes, it's one of my favorites. Um, and it's like a great noodle alternative um, if you're trying not to have gluten. Um, plus it's a vegetable, so like fiber or whatever. I don't know, but it's amazing. So I'm gonna show you how I make it. Um, I'm gonna be making it also with some shrimp um, and combining it in a soup. Kind of. I don't know. I'm kind of just going with what I have, uh, so we'll see how it turns out. So how I cook spaghetti squash is I bake it in the oven. Um, at first I start off with preheating it at 425, uh, and then while it's preheating I go and I cut the spaghetti squash in half. Uh, there's lots of ways to make spaghetti squash. This is just the way I make it. Um, it's kind of a challenge to cut it in half though, so make sure you have a sharp knife. But once you're done cutting it in half, you open it up and there's going to be all these seeds and all that kind of stuff inside. So you're just going to want to scrape that out and get rid of it. Once you do that, take some olive oil and um, I use, I think it's called a baster? I'm not sure, whatever this thing is called. I'm going to use that to kind of spread the olive oil around so that way it's not just in one spot or pooled on the inside of the spaghetti squash when it gets put in the oven. Um, I also am gonna add some onion salt and garlic powder. Um, these are some of my go-to seasonings. I also usually add oregano, but I'm not going to today because I'm gonna be adding lemon pepper in the, the final, final dish. Once the oven is done preheating, you're gonna put the spaghetti squash in the oven uh, for 40 minutes. Um, and that way it gets nice and soft. So that way when the noodle, so like when you're done, you just scrape the noodles out. Um, and I'm gonna scrape them into a pot with the, the bone broth that I have to make the, the soup, almost like a ramen, I guess. Um, that's kind of what I'm going for, but we will see. Uh, while I'm waiting for um, spaghetti squash to cook. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut up the bell pepper. So once the spaghetti squash is done in the oven, you're gonna to wanna to take it out um, and you wanna grab a fork. Um, and so what you're gonna do is you're gonna scrape off the sides. Um, and so that way you really get those noodles and make sure you really get it. You might need to scrape again when you're putting the noodles in the broth, but um, just try to get as much as you can. Now we're gonna put the bone broth. This specific bone broth is Whole30 approved. Put it on a, I put it on a five for now, um, but then I'll put it to a simmer once I um, put the, the noodles in. Um, I'm gonna take the bell pepper and I'm gonna put the bell pepper into the pan and I'm gonna let it sit in there. And I'll add some of my spices again, garlic um, powder and the onion salt, as well as the lemon pepper. And then I'm gonna let that, that's, um, simmer for a bit.
And then I need to defrost the shrimp. I totally forgot to do this. Um, it's already pre-cooked shrimp from Trader Joe's. So I'm gonna go ahead and defrost this by letting it run under cold water for five to seven minutes. Uh, I actually recommend not cooking it again, but um, I'll add it to the broth at the very end. That way it just kind of gets heated up in the broth and not necessarily cooked. And then once it's done, I'll add it in with the rest. I need to add some more spices just because I tasted it and it was still a little bland um, just because of how much is in the pot. So I'm just gonna add and then do taste tests as I go. Um, I really, I hate measuring things. So um, I just kind of add as I go. I'm gonna add some red pepper actually, uh, just to give it a little more of a kick. And then I'm gonna mix it all together once everything's added in, add some more seasoning, um, and then let it warm up, and then it's ready to go. So that's my ramen spaghetti squash shrimp recipe, I guess. I, as you saw, I kind of just added things as I went. Um, but I, in my taste test, it tasted pretty good, so hopefully the whole bowl is. So I am on day 25 of Whole30. I didn't really get a chance to film a lot during Whole30 uh, this time around just because I've just been really busy and uh, I was part-time at my job, but I'm full-time and so I haven't fully gotten back into the groove of things and finding out uh, where to put things in my schedule, so filming has kind of taken a back burner, but I hope to kind of create more videos as I get better adjusted to my schedule. And I do have some footage from when I was on Whole30 the first time, just because I took some videos, so maybe I'll put something together and share that. Um, but I don't know, we'll see. So this has been my ramen shrimp spaghetti squash recipe, I guess. Um, Feel free to try it, add some of your own things. I think if I were to do it again, I wouldn't add the bell pepper. I'd get some zucchini or something like that instead. Um, but in my taste test, it tastes okay. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you real soon.